Okay, let's, let's start the lesson. Page number 86, 89, unit number 22. Today's lesson is, is, is about adverbs. Okay, so basically, adverb Hold on, let me remove this window. Adverb here. Overall, an adverb describes a verb. Adverb describes a verb, adjective, and another adverb. They, there are few categories that we divide them into sections. So we're going to, I will show, I'm going to tell you about the section, what kind of sections we divide the adverbs, okay? So first one is adverb of frequency. Frequency means that we, we talk about how often that things or habit happens, okay? How often we do that thing. So for example, those adverb, frequency adverbs will be always, ever, often, usually, sometimes, eh? seldom, rarely, never, uh, or every day, once, twice, three, four times. And you can go on like this. And then those are, we count them as a frequency of adverb. Adverbs of a frequency, why? Because they're going to tell you how often that things happen. But here, if you can see the highlight of that, uh, uh, usually and sometimes here, we usually, we can use them at the beginning of the sentence. That's why I wrote them separately as a yellow. So as I told you that, we, we can use those frequency of adverbs, we can use it at the beginning of the sentence. So next one is uh, adverbs of time. So adverb also can describe about a time to explain when something happened. So, uh, those is going to be like today, tomorrow, or early this morning, late afternoon, afterwards. Those, they're talking about the time. They talk about the timing. That's why we call them uh, adverbs of time. There's another one here, adverbs of Place, also adverb can describe about the place. It tells us where something or someone is. So for example, here, here, there, in, out, away, abroad, somewhere, around. And what else? Everywhere, outside, inside, upstairs, downstairs. You can uh, uh, define those based on the meaning. Are they describing, are they are talking about the place or not? In this case, if, uh, it, it, if it works, I mean, if it describes a uh, place. And uh, downstairs. Yeah. So, for example, they, uh, and the, they usually go, uh, they usually go at the end of the sentence. Okay. For example, uh, adverbs of, uh, we call them frequency adverb. We use them between the subject and verb. But time adverbs, we use it at the beginning or at the end. And also, if uh, 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 adverbs about a place, well, you can use them as a, at the uh, you can use them in, at the end of a sentence. Okay. So adverbs of manner. What does that mean? Manner. They're talking about manner. Tells us how something is done. How something is done or describe a progress. Usually they'll go after the verb. You see that the position of that uh, manner adverb after the verb or after an object. Object, where is the object of our sentence? It can go after or after the verb. So for example here, uh, here there's a note here. When there is more normal, as I said, when there is a more than one adverb, after a verb, the normal order is manner, first goes manner, second goes place, and then third goes time. So this is the order. Second to the screen. Really? Okay. Let me share it again.
I saw it now, it's okay. Are you sure? Yeah. It's good now. Really? Okay. Again, as I said, that uh, adverbs, for example, adjectives, they have their own places. And when you add, use more than one adjective, they, they, have, uh, they have their own order, what goes first, second, and third. Same thing, when you use adverb, also it has a place. First, first goes manner, manner, adverb of manner, and second, place, uh, adverb of place, and then goes time. So, MPT, the order of the adverb is MPT. M for manner, P for place, T for time. Okay, next one here. For example, now, uh, which we have talked about uh, those adverbs, how the, what kind of adverb, for example, here, do you always have your English writing lesson at, at, the, at, at the day, end of the day, sorry, it's supposed to be end. At the end of the day, you see, all or do you always? This is our frequency adverb. Uh, have you even been in Sahara? Even you have been in Sahara, even been in Sahara, Sahara. or sometimes if you have, if you remember, Sometimes and usually we can use it at the beginning of a sentence, for example. And also, we have math English lessons every day. What kind of ad adverb is this? This is time adverb. That's what comes at the end of a sentence. So also, there were many hot days last month. Last month is about the time. Okay, we will have online exams next week. It's also a time adverb. I have placed my antenna on the roof. It is talking about a place in position. And also the dog and the cat fought furiously. What kind of adverb is this? This is manner. This is adverb for manner. Why? How things have been done. Manner adverb, adverb of manner. So I quickly realize this that I could realize, sorry, there's a mistake over here. The typing mistake, let me cross it out. Realize, here. I quickly realized that uh, there was a problem. Instead of e, uh -huh. instead of e, you're supposed to have realized. Let me place it here, over here. There's a mistake, typing mistake. Um, hold on. This D should be instead of S. I quickly realized there was a problem. So if you can see the position of this uh, adverb, it's after adjective, I mean subject, and before the verb, or at the end of the sentence. Okay, so the next one. We worked hard in the garden yesterday. Now there is, do you see that the order of uh, uh, the uh, adverb, how many adverbs do we have? We worked yeah. hard in the garden and yesterday. Hard is about manner. How worked? How have you been worked hard? In the garden, place, where, place, time, yesterday. So that's why M time, T. That's how you're going to place the time, I mean, the order of the adverbs, okay? Any question, Ariha? Any question? Okay, so let's move on to the next no. uh, next page. Mm, hold on. Okay, now here there is exercise here describing. Uh, uh, so put the words in the correct order to make sentences. For example, always arrived early has. Jenny has always arrived early. Grandfather here. I'm sorry. Grandfather, grandfather upstairs sleeps never. Grandfather, what's it going to be? Never sleeps up 
stair upstairs. So here, if you're going to see upstairs, what kind of uh, adjective is that? Adverb. Sorry, my uh, net is uh, on and off, on and off. It's causing a problem. Never sleeps up the, I'm sorry, stairs. So here, upstairs is our adverb. What kind of adverb is this one? This one is place, right? So next one, they, abroad holidays take rarely there. There, they, they take, they rarely take their holiday abroad. They take their holidays. Abroad. Is that correct? They really take their holiday abroad. What kind of adverb we're talking about here? We're talking about the frequency. frequency. This is a, a frequency adverb. Yeah. Uh, frequency adverb. So what about next one, Raham? Number three. Bad ever go there to you? Do you ever go to your bed? Do you ever go to bed late? Uh huh. What kind of adverb? Where is our adverb? Adverb is late. Ever? No, ever late. And this is time adverb. He badly dogs often the treat. He often treats yes. dogs badly. So, what kind of uh, adverb are you talking about here? Badly it means badly it means manner. So. Rest of it, I would like you to complete on your own, okay? This exercise is quite simple, so let's move on to next slide. Okay, next slide is about completing the, uh, um, complete this radio. Okay, we're going to complete this composition on, uh, on the radio from in the gap, for example. And we're going to put them in the correct order and then going to accomplish it. Miss? Today we have a special guest in the studio. You didn't do it. Someone who has worked successfully in education and in publishing has worked in. So our word was given has worked in education and publishing successfully. Karen Lanson. So who we construct this with these words in the bracket uh, uh, on the and the gap has worked successfully in education and and in publishing. So our uh, um, adverb is here successfully. This is my adverb of manner. So next one here. Thank you for coming this morning to the studio. Are we going to say it? Thank you for coming to studio studio this morning because why of uh, time I'd be going to use it at the end of sorry uh, again I'm going to type again because I forgot all the Thank you for coming to the studio this morning. So, what are we going to do here? Because the time adverb is over here. We're supposed to place them at the end of 
the sentence. That's why we're going to place it like this. Okay, here it says, my pleasure, Jason, you being in the news often have recently. So how are we going to answer it? You uh, have, have been, been in the news. <coughs> Sorry. You have been in the news. In the news Where should we, we should use the often? You have been in the news recently, or you recently have been in the news, or you have recently been. Where would you place it? Oh, uh, yeah, you have, you have recently been. Uh, I'm sorry, I mean often. You, here there we have, uh, we are missing this part here now. Where are we going to place it? You have been in the news. This is the general uh, sentence, but we need to add this often. And the frequency add word, where do we write? Uh, you have, you often have been, or you have often been, or you have been often in the news. Which one? Uh, you have often been? You have. I mean, your option, you're going to write it here. <laughs> the second option is you have often been in the news. You think it's a correct? Yeah. Hold on. Oh, here. We're going to remove this one. Up. You have been often in this news, are you sure? I'm going to leave a question mark. I want you to check. So next one. And we saw you on television last Saturday. Okay. That's because my latest novel came out has just. So here, what are you going to write here? Has just came out. My new novel has has just came out. out. Okay. Out. Correct. Do you ever find that you have worked, you have worked more, you have more work than time? What do you mean? Do you ever, do you ever find that you have more work than time? Well, I find that interruptions are the main problem. So I spent last year living quietly in a little village. I. Uh, uh huh. So what are we going? What should we write here? I spent. In a little village. Ah. Uh, in a little village, quite a, a little. A uh, little village. Quietly. Quietly. Okay. Is that correct? Do you think? I think. I live in it. Uh, okay. If you're going to put the, the, the uh, put the, uh, the adverb here, you should put here, place here, comma. Okay? Okay. All right. Yeah. So now, next one. Were you there for the whole year? More or less. I, at weekend, occasionally went to London. Okay. I, Uh, I, I occasionally went to London at the at weekend. Weekend. Uh huh. Yeah. Occasionally. Occasionally. Let me correct that. Occasionally. Why is that? What do you think is that? Where is your adverb? Adverb uh, is occasionally. Occasionally. What kind, yeah. What kind of adverb is this? Manner. Manner. 
You know, is a frequency or manner or time. What does it mean occasionally, uh, anyways? Like, uh, I don't know how to explain. Occasionally, it means time to time, or like uh, not many times, not less time, not uh, 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 rarely, but occasionally, this means time to time. I go. That means this one talks about, uh, we, uh, I mean, uh, what kind of adverb do you think it is? Uh, it's time. Uh, no. Frequency. If it's frequency, where should we write them? Oh. So again, I will leave it question mark for you. Okay? okay. And then you can give me your right version tomorrow. Or you can ask me through the message and I'm going to reply it. Okay. Okay. So can we leave this part for you to complete it? Because uh, we have another more lessons to go on. So okay. next. Okay, next slide is going to be uh, adverbs of probability, degree, and completeness. If you're going to open your page number 88, I think, it will be there. Adverbs of probability, no, degree, and book. completeness. Okay, so here, it continued the first part of the lesson. We now here, adverbs of Probability. What does it mean, probability? To talk about how certain or uncertain our plans and arrangements are. That means basically we talk about how certain or how uncertain it is. So those verb adverb we, call, we have here. Certainly, probably, definitely. Here that there is a formula, subject, adverb, and then verb, or subject, Adverb, not uh, not as, uh, itself is auxiliary, perhaps. However, you're going to you can add those and at the beginning of a sentence. Okay. So I'm going to okay. show you on the example after this slide. Another one we have adverbs of degree. Degree it shows that compare or uh, compare to sorry two or more people or things. Okay. For example, it shows the strength of other adverbs. It means like very, really, extremely, incredibly. This, this shows the strength, absolutely. You see that? And, and on the other hand, opposite of it is slightly, bit, quite, fairly. This is the uh, opposite of above those really extremely, the strength of uh, uh, adverbs. Okay. So another one, adverbs of completeness is quite simple. Describe how complete the action is. For example, totally. Uh, completely, perfectly, virtually, or particularly, uh, I mean, practically, almost, and hardly, scarcely. Those, you know, they're talking about completeness, degree, and probability. Is that clear? Yes. Any? It's not much uh, difficult. It just depends. You need to understand what they are talking about. So here. This one you, is easier than the first. Exactly. Uh, here. Certainly, you certainly made your position very clear, or they definitely won't arrive on time. Or perhaps, maybe, as I had mentioned here, perhaps and maybe you can use it begin again of the sentence, okay? And also, I'm really excited, or it were, dance were extremely cute, or a bit slowly, or sometimes, but, I, but it works perfectly well or extremely extri extri uh, strict, or completely forgot. Do you see those words? They're talking about degree, probability. Yes. Okay, so now, uh, hold on. Okay, now, so next slide is, should be uh, exercise. This exercise is going to be a lot easier. You're going to, to just underline one of those. And at the same time, Raham, send me your email. I'm going to send you the, the PDF file, okay? Oh, okay. Okay, because you don't have book, as you said. Even if you go to the school yes. website, they have it as a PDF, as a whole book. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys, that's it for today. I think this is the end of yeah. our lesson. Okay, so see you later.
Okay. Miss? Yes. 